Now in this video, we will learn about how we can set up the ALK step on Kubernetes. So there are some already created Helm charts for Elasticsearch and Kibana. So if you just do Elasticsearch Helm chart, just simply click on the first link and here you will be seeing the Helm chart along with the commands that are used for running the Helm chart on Kubernetes. So if you guys want, then you can just as you can see for Elasticsearch for Kibana Logstash, so just clone this particular repository. So as I have cloned this repository in my local system environment, so I will be using Minikube in this case. If you guys want to know how to install Minikube, so just refer to the document on Salesforce Pillars. So let us deploy the Logstash first. So log kubectl apply hyphen f Logstash hyphen deployment. Similarly, Logstash hyphen service. So let us have a look on the dashboard so as we can see our logstash pod is up and is in a stable state along with the logstash service okay so let me just show so QCT will get all so let us let me just delete my old services that are not necessary so i'll be deleting this demo service okay so let us just refresh so as we can see the logstash pod is here now let us proceed, let us install Elasticsearch. So we will write, first of all let us check, so kubectl, let me just delete some old PVC that are already created in the cluster, okay. So let us just install, so helm install Elasticsearch, then the chart path, then hyphen hyphen set replica is equal to 1 means I only want a single pod to be run of the Elasticsearch. So as we can see here on the elastic search, so let us wait till the elastic search get till, till the elastic search pod gets stable. So kubectl get all. So as we can see, it is not ready yet. As we can see, zero out of one. So let us wait. So as we can see, wrong with this, it has created the service for elastic search and the stateful sets. Okay. So let us just refresh it. Let us wait till it gets stable. Let me show you the chart for the Elasticsearch. So as you can see here, the all the files that is values.yml, so all things are written along with the commands for installing the Helm chart is also mentioned here. As you can see, Helm install hyphen hyphen name. So along with the Kibana also, as you can see, the values.yml. So let us just see. Yes, the Elasticsearch is in stable state. So let us proceed further and let us install Kibana. So helm install Kibana, then the chart path, then hyphen hyphen set replicas equal to one means I want only single replica, single pod of Kibana. Okay, so let us do kubectl get all. So as we can see Kibana pod is getting started. So let us have a look on the services. So yes, as we can see it has also created a service for the Kibana. So we have to wait till the pod or I can say till the deployment is in stable states as you can see which image is using. It is also showing on the dashboard. So let us wait till it gets stable. Once it is stable, we will do the port forward of the service to have a look on the web browser, the Kibana UI. Okay. So as we can see, it is, it is saying started container Kibana. So let us wait for one or two minutes it should be ready so qctl port forward that that's what we will be doing so let us not execute it now because our pod is not in running state yet so we have to wait till it is in running state it will took near about five minutes for a pod to be in steady state because it will take the pull of Kibana image from the docker and then it will start the pod. So as we can see the pod is in stable state. So let us do a port forward. So qctl port hyphen for forward. Then the service name. So our service name is service slash Kibana hyphen Kibana. Then port number for Kibana that is 5601. Now let us do localhost. Then the localhost. 5601. So as we can see, 
that is how we can deploy elk stack on kibana so for deploying the file beat so you can refer to the file beat configuration video that i have shown in which we have to we have passed the elastic search and the log test server ip now in this case we will pass the service name along with the port number instead of the ip so once it is done you can see your index of application index over here and then you can click create the index button as we did in our elk video and then on the discover you will be seeing your logs so that is how we can deploy elk stack so i hope it is clear thank you guys